Hello, folks. And the pig fell into the brick and died. Rip. I need to figure out why, but I think somehow it's managed to revert to... to, um... to, uh, always being in the overworld phase again. Because it's counting down here as if there's a fa uh, phase change. But it's still in the overworld phase, it looks like, because I'm not getting any, uh... Any brick. I should actually take a look and see what I got here. Uh, some more meat. A water bucket, that's new. I will definitely keep that. At some point I need to start organizing what I've got in here. I'm actually going to keep the the torches here and put those up. Get a bit more light in here. Evil Notion, how you doing? Yeah, I hear that. Oh, we have a cat. Just straight up kill this pig because I don't think there's a ton for use for him right now. But the cow, I will try to get over here into the into the pen. Where's my? There it is. Come here, stupid animal. Come. Here. Oh, I gave it to him instead of... Instead of closing the gate. That's what I wanted to do. Come here. Come here! Oh, Munchkin, man. I haven't played that in a while. It's fun, though. We have a sheep. I 
do have some... I do have iron now, so I could probably start building shears. Come here, sheep. Come here. Come on. Come on. Stupid animal. Back off, stupid cow. Come on. In you go. Thank you. I need chickens that badly. in my inventory eventually. Just is where I have to keep making get jetpacks to try to get it. What do you mean? Oh, and satisfactory. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, there's eventually an upgrade you get for that. Um, there eventually is a. Uh, a hover pack that you can build that works from uh, power. As long as you have, uh, ooh, the big ca cavern. I think I know what you're talking about. Um, but yeah, there's a there's eventually an upgrade called a hover pack, and so that just draws power from your power grid as long as you're within a certain distance of a uh, a power pool. So I end up just stringing huge amounts of power pools everywhere. All right, I'm gonna get some of these animals out of here. Come on. Alright, I guess 
I'll do one at a time. I really should, should start building a bigger... a bigger area here. Because this is just about the max of what I can stick in one... in one area. I keep on accidentally feeding the cows instead of opening and closing the gates. Let's see here. My wheat seed is not grown yet. over the side. Oh well. Hmm, is it possible for you to uh is it possible for you to build uh, a bunch of uh of concrete foundation and sort of catwalk your way down? Ah, uh, yep. That'll happen. You have a phase block. It's weird, for some- uh, somehow the game restarted me in the first phase. Which is not bad, because it means I've gotten a bunch of, you know, dirt and stuff. Which I know is hard to come by in later phases. But, on the other hand, I would like to get back to, uh... I would like to, uh start getting stone and whatnot again. I would be really disappointed if it uh, keeps on resetting every time. Uh... No way to get lava yet now. I mean, I just got through... It's just started giving me uh, stone again, so I'm just now to the underground phase, I guess. Here's some iron. I just don't know how I managed to get stuck again. That was gravel. Oops. Um, this is the 116 map running on 118.1. I don't know if that breaks anything. smelt some of the iron I have here. Where is it? case and said it's diggy diggy this one infinite block. Yeah, the fortune pick though, it's like, well I need to get some way to enchant first, and that maybe that may take a while in this mod. seems intent on 
Y'all notice I've got some polished diorite here. Because I wanted something that could hold up to a creeper explosion, and I figure, well, polished diorite has the same, uh, same, uh, blast resistance as co cobblestone. Oh. Hello, Zon. Pretty sturdy for zombies. Get the rest of the out of there. I guess I need one more uh, coal to finish the rest of them. Bum. I forget, what's the recipe for uh, shears? Ah, there we are. Does that mean I can, that does mean I can start shearing the sheep for wool, which means I can make a uh, Which means I can start making a bed, finally. Is that all of them? You should totally do that, Evil Notion. Absolutely. Alright. Just need oak planks and cool. Damn it, cow. Goodbye, cow. Don't have it's not might yet. That's fine though. I have actually never bothered to set emotes on my channel. I think I have like one slot, so not only do I have no idea what I would put in it, but but I just never used them. So I don't know what I actually don't know what the rules are around that. Two zombies. I should really eat here. Because I'm close to dead. Ah. Uh, yeah, I have, I have no idea what I would even put in for emotes. I mean, most of the time there's not that many people watching, so... So I'd mostly be using it just for silly things I could put in to spam in other people's channels. Oh, string. Cool. I'm always in need of more string. <laughs> One of these days I'm gonna have to get you to explain the story behind why the, why you guys hate polished diorite so much? That's not that ugly. I mean, I'm playing on the Java build. Every block's ugly. Oh, 
bunnies. Alright. Finally it's night, so gonna sleep. <laughs> Thank you, Sago. I mean, I sub to your guys' and you sub to mine, so it's just money going in a circle. But I do appreciate it. That's true, I suppose it is going to Twitch. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I need uh to replace the tools. I really need to sort these blocks, but I think I'm probably gonna start building a little bit farther this way and try to make a bit more of a home base out here, and then uh start doing the farm out here and out here to the left and right, so now, I need to get some more tools made. I probably could go straight for the iron tools, I guess. I do have the, the ingots for it. Ooh, I did not need to spend uh, convert all those to sticks, but oh well, screw it. I suppose I had to keep using the steel accent, the steel, the stone tools until I absolutely need to. It'll be good to have those set aside, though. Let's see here. Well, I suppose I had to get a few more uh, uh, planks made since I accidentally converted them all. Do one more stone axe. I'll just do that there. What I should be getting in the habit of is uh is combining my broken tools. But that takes memory. I actually only learned you can do that uh <laughs> like a like yesterday. Alrighty. Pick up what dropped and Let's resume the game. Oh, zombie. Hello. Damn it, bird. You might need an apple for that, I don't know. I I know so little about Minecraft anymore. Uh, the question was, do you need an anvil or something else to uh, combine two half-broken tools into one tool? Or can you do that at any crafting table? As long as it's not enchanted. Okay. Keep on digging. Oh, a spider. So 
tell you what, I'll set this I'll set aside this sword. And when both of the when some of these tools get down to uh, half, we'll uh, we'll find out. Not that the spider is going to do any real harm up there, but damn it. here. How far away am I? Nope, that was actually not what I wanted to do. I wanted to give myself a little bit more room here. And shoot him. about time to start building out a little bit more. So let me put away half this stuff. Take a quick break from Let's see here. I actually want to only convert about half of these. Actually that's what I wanted to do. Since I recently got a another uh, bucket of water. I'm going to go over the side here and build down a little bit. But first, I'm going to dump all my tools so that if I screw this up, I don't lose them all. Way for safekeeping. Come on, let me put a block to the side there. I can appreciate that there's something you can see down there. Oh no, that's the waterfall anyway. Never mind. When did he get in here? I don't remember seeing him spawn in. Ah. Uh. Alright, let me get my normal tools back in. 
let's start building back a little ways and building another home. Is there any do I lose anything for killing him? Oh. Somehow I just managed to kill him. Or did he teleport away or something? Uh, no, he's invisible. Somehow he's invisible. Now he's dead. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, I don't have anything to trade with him anyways. He'll live. Yeah. It does not. The sounds do not whip the llama's ass. And yes, you can hear. I do have the my, the game turned up a tiny bit right now, so. All right. What do I even want to do here? As far as. I think I do still want. Hmm. I think I do want to keep on building a little bit down. Yeah, you know, that is actually a good point. I mean, you said torch to remind me to light it to light this area, but I'm also thinking to myself, if a fire started here, rest in piss. So I think I'm gonna put a few more of these down. And then I'm gonna start putting down uh stone. Actually, that's a good question. Is there anything I can do with this gravel? I've got a ton of gravel. I know, I think you can turn gravel into dirt by, uh, by doing two gravel, two dirt into making it into rough soil and then hoe it and that turns it into normal soil. No, I should try that actually, just for the hell of it. Because Soil is something that you are very, very short of in this game in the later stages from what I, from what I was reading, so... So it's tempting to be able to... to stretch out my dirt supplies a bit by mixing it with gravel. Because it starts as coarse dirt. Yeah, that's a good point. So let's test it. So you start with coarse dirt. Then you hoe it. Let me grab my hoe. Because I put it away. Yeah, it looks like that turned it into dirt. Let me try that a bit. 
get all the normal dirt out of my inventory and try it a bit more. Cool. So yeah, that is definitely a way to go to stretch out my dirt supplies a bit, which is good because I'm about to do, I'm going to do some farming soon. Which I don't see any other use for gravel right now, but that's a good use of gravel. this area. Oh, goodbye, cobblestone. Actually, no, this is the anthracite. I wanted the diorite, since I am marking out that safe area. Did I get any more diorite? thought I did. I did. should be doing really is, is I should be leaving one square in here to use as a trap door because like if a, if a creeper spawns here spawns in while I'm mining from this angle what I could do is shut the door get the creeper to come over to the, like this corner build a get rid of this block here and build a uh, trap door and then open it out from under the creeper but that will be something that can wait until later I think so go ahead and fill these back in The, uh, I'm grabbing the cobblestone because honestly I need it a lot more right now. As long as the ground doesn't get blasted out from under me, the cobblestone is... The wood is fine for this outer area here. thinking about with uh, with building. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is build a little bit farther out this direction and make a uh, start building a house out here. And then I'm going to extend uh, with dirt to the left and right. I probably should have slept, but oh well. Oh yeah. There's, there's a certain point where you just go, screw it. Here's the cobblestone. I think this is roughly the center.
Perfect. Oops. Actually, I'm gonna do one more layer here. here. Now I'm going to move chests and and crafting bits back. Oh, and the bed. Go ahead and knock down these walls then. It's actually weird, because I remember back in the hard OCP days, I used to pave my system over on the regularly, and now I just I don't have the patience for it anymore. It's kinda weird. Now that I'm going to keep a furnace over here and a crafting station, but I'm probably going to build a second one that's closer, just in case. have that many of them. Oh, I wonder if I might not use it, not carrying my, uh, the rest of my chests. There's my coal. There's my coal. And sticks. Let's actually start sorting some of my stuff here. Once I put in the my emergency, my well, not emergency, but my other crafting stations here. Just 
do one one box that's just all the big blocks. Dirt, all the gravel. Where's my other gravel? I guess that was all of it. Wood. Yeah, that'll do. And I'll go in and put the iron ingots in here as well. And over here we'll put in food and tools and sticks. Saplings, all the flesh. Oh, that's right. We were gonna. I was gonna test to see if uh, the combining worked. Mm, but that actually can wait a little bit. I kind of wish there was a. Sort, uh, sort chests button. But oh well. Oh, time to go get, uh, my wheat. No, goodbye wheat. Oh well. But seeing this over here reminded me that I was gonna build start building a, a farm over here to the side. And I'll drop off the eggs too. So come over here, grab some of that dirt that I was building. I know nothing about modded Minecraft, honestly. I'll have to ask you about some of that later. Actually, that's a good question. What what do you... Okay, so sort utils, what else do you consider, like, essential for a Minecraft server? Wait a minute, because um, I'm going to have to put uh, water in here. So I actually am probably going to end up with uh, two layers of uh, soil here, unless I'm going to run a uh, bucket over and put uh, and put something underneath this, which I could do. Hmm. Actually, no. I'm well, so I will do that, but I'm going to start with just a. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the but as I'm going to break open a hole here, probably right there, uh, run the water through it, and then put something on the other side. 
underneath it so I can catch it. Sort of ad hoc this. So, it's the water bucket. Now this should all be good once I till it. Actually, I should sleep while it's day, while it's night. Plant my potato, my carrot, and these wheat seeds. Save a couple for luring animals if I need it. I'll go ahead and lay out dirt on the other side too. And I figure over here is eventually where I'll start uh, moving the animals to. This will be my new farm, eventually. But before I do that, I think I'm gonna actually go back and mine a little bit more. Cause I've kind of been, I've kind of been ignoring that. so that I remember to reuse them. Grab the bow and the arrows. Oh, and I should cook some pork chops too. Or I can just eat the ones I've got from right now. All right, I'll move you guys later. Let's get back to Diggy Diggy Hole for a bit. Oh. 
here. Actually, uh, having to restart my playlist is actually a good sign that uh, I've been doing this for one hour. So I'm going to get up and take a drink break and a stretch break. Uh, go ahead and hydrate yourself, and I will be back shortly. I am back. I think I'm going to play this for a little bit longer, see if I can get to the next stage, and then I'm going to think I'm going to switch over to uh, Satisfactory for a bit, because I haven't played that in a couple of weeks. I went really hard right after Update 5 to get everything up and running again, because it screwed up a lot of my, a lot of my stuff. Now I kind of feel like picking it up again. me I was gonna test to see can I convert can I merge these I think the stone X is the closest to yes it, it does combine them mm. 
In that case, I'm gonna let the back get damaged a bit more. Let's drop off the stuff we got. Blocks, the iron and coal and flint. And some more raw pork chops. map. First glance, nothing has changed. Oh, definitely. Okay, I'm definitely getting some more, some new things then. What are these? Snowballs. Nope. Is that ice? That's ice. In any case, it's night, so. Yeah, and I don't know how I would even get Silk Touch out here, but I'll figure it out eventually. In any case, um, I've been doing this for a tiny bit. I actually think I'm going to switch it up and do some uh, satisfactory for a little bit, because like I said, I haven't done that in a little bit. I'm going to get that started and then I'll actually get game capture set up for it, because I haven't done that yet. Capture specific window. Save Minecraft and quit.
Yeah, servers. Uh, the servers are a bit buggy. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't done. I haven't played Satisfactory since Christmas. It's a good sign of how long it's been. Let's see here. Let me actually check my power grid first. See how that is. Uh, it's an all right shape. That's my stockpile of, uh... Oh, I had never tore down the... the um, heavy modular frame pipeline. That's nearly full. Yeah, that's fine for now. Alright, let's get on the train and see if the su if, uh, supercomputer factory is still up and running. First, I'll get on this train. Actually, yeah. I'll go ahead and wait for it to unload these, because that'll be faster than going by tube. I had a second uh, entire other track here, um, but the way that they made trains start colliding in, C in uh, Update 5 meant that that wasn't viable to have anymore. So now I just have two train tracks left at the moment, and I need to either figure out how, how signals work or build a network of single shuttle trains back and forth. But you know, not that big of a problem. My quartz area is still a mess. Yeah, that's kind of natural. I have one well-organized area where I'm building supercomputers, and that's about it. Fuel buffer's fine. Okay, 100% charge. Good. Come on, come on up. I'm trying to remember what I was working on before, uh, just before I saved this, saved last. I think I was, I think I was starting to look at, uh, setting up nuclear, because there's a uranium deposit out here. But right now I think most of this area is still set up as, uh, aluminum production. Let's go up and check. I don't remember how much of the conversion over to full-time aluminum, aluminum casings was. I mean, there's my huge stockpiles of heat sinks from when I was rushing to complete phase five. And head up the cliff. I really need to rebuild this in, in the new way, because right now I have them, ca I have uh, both the conveyor belts and the tubes cascading off the wall here, and then I discovered, oh, I can just have an infinitely tall conveyor belt or pipe through uh, through the floor areas, rather the floor connectors, whatever their names are, I can't remember anymore.
All right. It looks like I converted the I finished converting this place entirely over to aluminum ingots. Cuz this is going to be the maxed out bauxite pipeline I had. Yeah. There's the water for it and the coal coming in from that unfortunate seam over there. And then my other bauxite is going to be over on the other side here. Cool. This, I think, is the tube back down to the silicon mining. Should be anyways. This was the pipeline. Let's see here. No, this this was one pipeline, and then the other was coming down through here along for the for the quartz computers alongside the nitrogen gas. That's right. Because there's my nitrogen gas extractor. One of them, anyways. The bit, the first one I built. Oh wow! I have never thought I'd be full on on crystal oscillators, but here we are. Already, get back to base. Oh, that's what I was going to mention. Uh, so there's a web tool out there, and I'll have to link it to you if I haven't already. And it's a save game viewer and editor for Satisfactory. And one of the things it is really good for, honestly, is recovering chests that have fallen into, like, clipped into world geometry and are no longer easily, easily accessible. So that might be what you want to do, is just straight up edit your save file to move that chest to, to somewhere above ground on your home base. Let me see if I can find it. Once I get into the next tube. Yeah, uh, here we go. Yeah, so that's an interactive map for the entire game, but it you can also load your save files into it and view them and edit them. It's also kind of good for finding out where the game has broken a few things. For example, like if you've accidentally made like an entire second circuit that you didn't intend to. This'll let that'll let you track uh, every electrical circuit in the game in the save file and where it's headed to. But yeah, let's head out and check the supercomputer factory, because that's probably the second most complex area I have after my main base. Feels like they've slowed down uh um, the tubes a lot. I'm not sure what's up. Because I don't remember them being this slow. I wonder if this is unpowered or something. The other thing that editor might be useful for if you're planning to run a multiplayer server is just saying screw it and grabbing uh, unlocking all research without having to run down the hard drives for it. Because on one hand, running down the hard drives is part of the challenge of it. I haven't done that on this save, but on the other hand, it is a huge pain in the butt. And since it's completely RNG once you get what you get from the hard drives, it's like on one hand you're guaranteed that you will eventually get all recipes. On the other hand, it can be really annoying if you're, you know, 10 or 20 or 30 um, 
of the hard drives in, and you still haven't gotten some of the really basic alternate recipes that are so handy. Actually, this is a good chance for me to check and see what the hell's up with this power grid. I mean, it has to be on because I'm getting, I'm getting a uh, power to run my hover pack, so I'm not sure what's up. But yeah, this is probably the most complex factory I have right now, and it's, and it turns out a uh, supercomputers. It starts with a, uh, it starts with quick wire down here and circuit board manufacturing, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, because we've got quaternium ingots here, and what are these? Yeah, these are. This is all massive quick wire manufacturing. It looks like, and maybe some cables as well. Then, next floor up should be circuit boards and other prerequisites, mid tier. Yeah, let's see here. These are the high speed connectors, which are such a pain, such a pain in the butt. Yeah, because I had that's right, I had six six constructors for the circuit boards and then one to drive the high speed circuits. I think I've got a outside door I can use here to get around faster. Yeah. And then up here is the actual super uh, these are normal computer manufacturing, this one's the supercomputers. Cool. So that's all still working. And then out here should be the... Oh. Um, out here should be... The other bauxite factor, I think. There's the quaternium ore that's filling most of it, that's filling all the quick wire. That's the ingots for it. But there's the oil, the plastic and rubber supplies for manufacturing. I could swear I had something over here, and I don't remember what it, what it is. Wait a minute, was it the aluminum casings I was building over here? Switch back to hover because if it is, I'll, I'll see it up here. It is up here. The this is the aluminum casings factory I have over here. I should really build a hyper tube out here. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember I was putting this this area together while I was watching the sumo finals in December. I remember I was. I remember for some reason I was putting on the finishing touches on this building right as uh, Terano Fuji was giving his big speech about his first win as Yokozuna. Is that these will be? I forget what these are. Oh yeah, this is the rough. This is the aluminum smelting. Yeah. Then up here should be up to the. Aluminum is a huge pain in the butt. It, on on the upside of aluminum is that it's the by far the fastest uh, it's by far the fastest conveyor belts, and that's super super handy. It's like once you're up to once you get 720 units per mi units per minute for conveyor belts, that means that you can run some of your you can run Minor Mark II on normal nodes at 250 percent. Yeah. So here's a normal mo normal mode. Oh no, this one's not even overclocked. But yeah, you can get you can get the you can get with aluminum conveyor belts, you can dramatically simplify a lot of factories. And that's kind of the big selling point of it. But the actual process to make aluminum is a huge pain in the butt. And there's basically two there's basically two pipelines for it. And it comes down to and it comes down to whether or not you want to trade off um bauxite for for space efficiency and power efficiency because there's a sloppy there's a there's a recipe called sloppy alumina right. yeah this one's using the base one and so that one uses a certain amount of bauxite and water per minute 
and outputs uh, alumina solution and silica. And the silica usually, if you don't, if you're not going to reuse it, you junk it. And uh, and the alumina you crunch into uh, aluminum scrap. It's here because I've got two refineries here producing alumina solution, and then the next one produces takes alumina solution and coal and produces scrap and water. Um, the catch is, is that it's just it's not very power efficient and it requires a bunch of extra space. So you can trade off you can throw away about 20%-ish of your bauxite to have a much simpler construction process. But bauxite nodes are pretty rare in the game. I want to say there's only like four pure bauxite nodes in the entire map. So if you if you're willing to contort your factory layouts a bit, like I like I am bringing the bauxite ore down here so I can smelt it next to the water, because it's a lot easier to bring heavy ores down via conveyor belt than it is to pump water up from from a lower level. If you're willing to do that, it seems like always a win to do the to do the less efficient but more productive uh, recipes. But but there's a lot of people who just do, okay, screw it, I want to keep things as tight and simple as possible. Use sloppy alumina, sloppy bauxite refining everywhere in order to simplify their factories. But yeah, aluminum is a huge pain. It's kind of worth it, but it's a huge pain, and you have to do it anyways, because you're eventually going to be building... Uh, once you get to phase four or phase five, you everything requires heat sinks, and heat sinks require aluminum. So one way or another, you're going to have to do it. Doing it over here is probably, if if you started if you use the grasslands as your starting area, doing it over there in this corner and hauling it back in, even though it's a very very long conveyor belt run, it's still probably the easiest place to do it. Go ahead and head on back. I'm not gonna wait for the train to come all the way through, even though I really like the views from this train, from this train track. It's gonna take a while. Although, already, it sure, it sure seems like these uh, hyper tubes are not very hyper right now. I wonder if something changed recently. Of course, there's the train passing me in the other direction. There are two, I would say that there are basically two big. There are three big point pain points in the game when it comes to when it comes to uh, construction. Construction that's a pain to get started. Of. The first, the first is getting um, is getting encased encased uh, steel beams up and running because that's just the first. That or the reinforced iron plates are the first are the first point where you have a bunch of different parts and you're running up against the limits of conveyor belts because it's like okay you need a bunch of you need you need a bunch of screws for reinforced pl iron plates and screws are huge like the smallest the smallest recipe you can do is still producing 240 a minute and so you're actually running up against not necessarily against complexity of of uh, of the of parts, you're running up against the limits of how many of what you can put through your conveyor belts, and that's a huge pain. Oh wow, I am really backed up here on supercomputers. It's kind of a good problem to have, but let's let's put some pick up some of them and break out that log jam temporarily. What I really need to do is uh, set up another smart splitter here to say if this is overflowed, send the leftovers to uh to um. A fix it sink. What do I have in the blender here? Oh, this is the fused aluminum frames, except that it will not have enough uh, heavy modulars to rob, run off of until I run them over, because I never did fix that uh, conveyor belt. What is this area over here? I don't remember the, building this area. I'm gonna drop off the those really quick. Oh, I think this is the nuclear pasta area I had. Yeah, because this is... Here's the accelerator. Yeah. I'm not bothering to build any more uh, compression cubes. This thing, this building is... is a pain in the butt. 
you're going to have to build at least one of them to get finished phase five, and you're going to have to build multiple ones of them if you want to do nuclear power, which I haven't done yet. But this thing is a pain because this 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 building's entire shtick is that the power the recipes you put in it consume variable amounts of power. It starts off at it starts off at low, like 500 milliwatt, megawatts, and then it's going to ramp up and ramp up and ramp up and then ramp back down. And so either you have to massively overbuild your power infrastructure so that it, you always can handle it at your peak, or what you do is you build a battery bank. Like over here, I think, is where my battery bank is, or at least the main one. Okay, I'm starting to remember most of my layout now. So the power, if the battery bank is here, this is all. This is going to be uh, motors. This is going to be iron. These are going to be steel pipes going into uh, heavy frame production. What's this? I think this is leftover. Yeah, leftover steel beams. And these. Are, this is the encased beams factories. Yeah, and this is my main steel plant. Cool. Okay, I seem to rem remember nearly everything then. That'll mean the coals over here. Hmm. What is this building? Yeah, that's armchair armchair game designer but that's one thing uh, that's one thing I do not like is that they throw so much radioactive stuff at you early but you don't get to build um, hazmat suits for quite a while what is this manufacturing oh automated wirings but I don't think I need any more of these because I'm pretty much done with phases for now how many of these do I have uh, not that many and I think I'll just let it go for now, because who knows, maybe I'll need automated wiring later on for whenever they add uh, the post-early access phases. And I can have that set up. What are all these? Spare casings. I think I, I, think I started cleaning up a little bit post-phase 5 and then never finished it. Okay, so these are all my leftover modular fr fused modular frames, turbo motors... Motor control units, cooling systems, cool, cool, cool. Okay, this is actually not as much of a mess as I thought it would be. I also have a bunch of fix-it tickets. What's that for? At least, do I have anything left I can buy with fix-it? Yeah, only the pioneer pioneering awards left, which is just kind of sitting back and waiting. Or I guess I could buy the extra radiation filters if I needed them. Yeah, I have all the customizer things. It looks like cool. Double check. I don't have any undone milestones. that. Ah, uh, the rockets. Hmm. What do I want to do in here, then? Because I think my next big project was going to be going out to the going out to the desert that out, that's out here. I think I was I think what I was planning to do at that point was build a bunch of uh was build pretty much pave over this entire desert area and build a big central store for parts. Move the move the um, space elevator over here. Move the hub over here, and then just have like eight or nine train lines going out to touch the rest of the island. Let's see here. Um, still have some geysers over here that I'm not using, apparently. Some pods that still need some bits. Oh, right. The, there's the nuclear uh, 
there's the uranium ore here too, and I was meaning to start looking into nuclear. I'm gonna have to go put putz around in uh in in Minecraft and rather in satisfactory calculator for a bit though, and figure out. Actually, I wonder if I still have my notes. There should be a text file somewhere on my desktop with a bunch of notes if I didn't delete it. Looks like I don't have the notes anymore. That's unfortunate. Unless I moved them somewhere and I just don't know where I moved them. Yeah, I just I don't know where they are right now. They should be somewhere on my hard drive. I had done some uh, I had done some math for like okay for it, to do one nuclear plant you needed with without nuclear waste you needed x all x y and z set up for refining. I'll look it up in a little bit. I need to start. I need to grab. Maybe that's what I should be doing first: is grabbing a bunch of uh, of uh, quartz and banking a bunch of signs, so I don't have to click E on each of these containers to know what they're doing, what they hold. Either that, or do the do the conveyor trick where you have like a single tile conveyor here, exiting it. That go that goes nowhere. So you can just look at the conveyor to see what's on what's on it. Oof. Yeah, uh, Jason, one of a friend of mine, has been running a satisfactory server for him and his uh, housemates and a few other people too. And I know he's been having all sorts of stability issues with it. Hasn't been crashing though. It's just been what he's been running up against has been lag issues. surprised it's not doing something about the fact that my, I still have a Christmas tree up in uh, February. Now that I've looked at this, I think actually I'm going to go back to Minecraft. Why not? I just need to come and boot this back up though. Like I said, I haven't played Satisfactory in quite a while. Yeah, ADHD, honestly, man. Oh, that's that's kind of my one complaint about Satisfactory is that with Minecraft, at least you know, sure, there's there's a bunch of complexity in you know in redstone setups and setting up farms and whatnot. And Minecraft can be complex in one way, but it's it's complex and you learn what you want to do and then you just design it and do it. Satisfactory needs a lot of math, not needs a lot of math because you're planning inputs and outputs and okay if I want to put produce X per second I need Y and Z per second I mean this is a good chance for me to to, to double check uh to see what happens if I uh if it's gonna lose my uh, progress again Let's go back here and mine a few blocks and see what comes out of it. So I have a sneaking feeling that now that I've left it and saved and come back, 
it's going to be back at uh, Overworld again. Well, I'm just going to sit in here for a second and mine. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Um, it looks like it's reset to... I don't know why it's doing that. It looks like it's reset to uh, phase one again, because now it's giving me the bucket again. Because uh, because yeah, it's it gives you some it gives you some dirt, it gives you some wood, and then it gives you a bunch of gravel, and you keep on being unable to pick up the gravel because because at that point you're standing on it. So it gives you the bucket, and you're supposed to pour the bucket, go over the side, and build something under the under it. So yeah, I think it has reset me to phase one as far as getting materials goes. That's not good. I wonder if that's just a bug in running a 116 map on 118? Hmm. And yeah, now it's, now it's doing the phase counter to say, okay, you're transitioning to phase one. Oh, no, now it's... Now it's on ice again. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go back. Maybe? Do I have a spare shovel? I do not. I need to go with the shovel. Yeah, it looks like it's completely reverted. Well, I'm not actually sure because on one hand it did give me that ice block really quick. So let's just mine a few more and see what happens. Yeah, it's giving me the same starter animals again and no, uh, no stone is spawning. So yeah, I think it has reset me to, to phase one. I mean, on one hand, that's fine, because it's got... Because I'm not losing anything, I've still got my base here, but that does mean I'm going to have to play for a while again if I want to go back to... If I want to get back to getting more stone. Or, yeah, I may need to give up on this and start a... And maybe try a different version of the mod, like Skyblock. What do you mean, uh, restart Evil Notion? Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so as much as as much as as it sucks to lose all this stuff I've been building, I think I need to Either that or I need to run it in the cheats mode um so I can direct so I can just use it. Apparently there is an admin command. I saw this earlier. If I turn on cheats, I actually don't know how to do that. Open to land. Ah. Ah. Hmm. 
Nope. Looks like that's broken too. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think maybe this just does not work with uh, 118 with 118.1 or something entirely. Hmm. No idea. Oh, well, in that case, I am not sure what to do. That's true. I could always go back and play it in 116. That actually might not be a bad idea. I might need your help, though, in figuring out how to get 116 on the machine, though. Is there a way? Is there a way from the Minecraft launcher to say I want to do a specific snapshot? I see pull downs for latest release and latest snapshot. Ah, uh, installations, new installation. Aha! I see what you mean. Cool. Yeah, I think that might be what I do. Is I might run run back to 116. I'm guessing though that I'm going to have to restart to do that. Since uh, 116, since the save is on 118. Huh. Yeah, because the the map is the original map was for 116, but the save I've got going now is in 118. Unless I'm misreading this. Hmm. I think I might do that off off stream, honestly. Try and figure that out. Well, in the meantime, I'm not sure what to do with it. <laughs> well, it's been two hours. I might go ahead and just call the stream early and figure this out a little bit. Oh well. It was still it was still fun. I managed to sit around and build a few things and figure things out a little bit more. Cool. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn the stream down a little bit early and uh, and do and do some reading and maybe one install install 116.4 and see if that fixes it. That's true. I could play Arceus, go real ADHD gaming, and switch and do a third game. Where is my switch actually? Give me one second. This and let's see here. Actually, you know, I it's been two hours. It's or close to it. I think it's a good stopping point for now. I will figure that I will figure some things out. I don't want to do three different games in one stream. And yeah, thank you to uh, thank you all for watching. And hopefully, I will have uh, hopefully I will come back to. I was actually enjoying myself there for a little bit, so I think I will actually come back to the Minecraft uh, one block challenge once I get it on a build that actually works. And we'll see where we go. All right. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. I do appreciate it.